The windows at 503 South Swigert Street have been boarded up, but the smell of smoke still lingers. Laura Will's car sits in her front yard, but she'll never get back behind the wheel. She passed away after a fire in her home on early Friday morning that brought nearly 27 emergency personnel to the scene. Her neighbor Paul Lockhart woke up to lights flashing outside of his window. Uh, I woke up, looked out the window, and saw the emergency vehicles, and was like, okay, well, this isn't good, and looked over here, and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, this is pretty terrible. Fire Marshal Randy Smith says that the home did not have any working smoke detectors. He says in these types of situations, time is of the essence. Hey, okay, that means it turned on. A residence be can become uninhabitable within two minutes of the fire beginning. Smith says taking simple steps like installing a smoke alarm or keeping a fire extinguisher in your home can save your life. Not only is it enough to have it, but to know it does work in case of an emergency, to test it once a month, to change the batteries out at least once a year, and then finally replace those detectors after 10 years. You can make sure that your fire alarm is working by just pushing a button. This is a combination unit used for both smoke detection and car carbon monoxide detection. You just hit this button and listen for the chirp. Neighbors say it's a tough lesson, but they'll definitely keep focused on making sure their homes are safe in the future. It makes us all a little bit more aware of our own, you know, situations and wanting to make sure that um, we're staying on top of our stuff with smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, getting furnaces and water heaters checked. Investigators are still working to determine the cause of the fire. In Champaign, I'm Claire Stuckel, UI7 News.